Oh no. Can you hear me? This is weird. I don't feel like. Hello. I'm gonna go ahead and take questions. I don't think mine works. Fuck off, Lucky. Um, yeah, is this, I can't even tell if this is working, is it? No? Okay. Yeah? Is it, uh, hello? That, okay, so that's a huge difference, okay. Um, wow, I'm way too loud now. Uh, yeah, it's, well, it's an interesting thing, you know, like, playing, uh, a character who is sort of rebirthed almost, um, just, you know, sort of his memories erased entire previous life he isn't even aware of. Um... And uh, I mean, I mean, yeah, I don't know. As an actor, it's it's like it's kind of a cool thing. You can kind of create things from there, and it's more about the character's journey and what he discovers uh, about himself um, in this kind of new uh, resurrected life, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't know. Does, does that does that work? Yeah. Do you want the, do you want the mic back? <laughs> Their job really is to react to the, the things that we're throwing at them constantly, you know what I mean? So not knowing necessarily what's coming next is actually a good thing for them, you know what I mean? And, and speaking of like the first scene in, in the elevator, I mean, it's, it's, it's very much what James wrote. It's very much, um, I saw it very much as him being born into this world. He's soaking wet, he's scared and confused, and that kind of is the, is the kind of overall kind of arc of the movie. Is this vulnerable boy that comes into the movie and eventually he leaves a man. Or at least a, a, a man, someone who's about to become a man. So um, I think that, that that whole mystery that kind of drives the movie essentially really works for the actors in this in this circumstance. It's, it's, yep. it's very cool. Uh, hi, I'm Grant Johnson. I'm a little bit sick of here. Um, I got to see the film last night. Cool. Did you like it? I really enjoyed it, and I wanted to commend you on making a young adult franchise but that had a really strong visual component. Mm -hmm. like, I feel like a lot of why it's here like it's adopted as sort of a new plan and so I want to say congratulations on being a plan. I read your review, it was great. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> I read it. And so I was wondering if you could talk about filming on location and then sort of like the creation of the maze and how that Yeah, I mean I'm glad you said that it kind of stood out for you. you know, we really tried to um, you know there is that YA label that's kind of on our back and that it is a little bit of a target and and I personally uh, did that. We didn't see it in a YA movie. I just say it saw it as a movie, you know. And um, uh, it was a lot of fun. I mean, James wrote a, a world that um, was very original, very unique, and it was it was fun creating that visually. And and not only that, but the, the situations themselves are so cinematic. There's the crunch, like the tension and and drama that we could play. Uh, it was a lot of fun to have just as a filmmaker. Uh, chance to kind of create those edge of your seat moments, and the, that kind of intense suspense, and while at the same time having a real sense of heart and sort of maturity and sophistication to what these characters are dealing with, you know, because they're dealing with some pretty tough stuff, you know, these, these kids. Um, yeah, so that's very quick to pick on that. Hey, man. Hi. I have a question for Kai. I loved you in The Truth About Emmanuel. Thank you. Uh, I saw when I was Emmanuel in The Truth About Emmanuel. <laughs> so I didn't get a chance to ask you before, uh, how did you like being the lead female in the cast? And if you were in the play, what task would you do? I mean, I, yeah, it's always nice to, to be a part of a movie. Lead female? It's just lead now, right? We don't have to keep calling it male female anymore, do we? <laughs> just lead. Like, very yeah. cool. It's 2014. No more of that. Um, yeah, I mean, Emmanuel is a very special film, and it's totally different to this, which is what I love. Um, it's very, it was very indie, and it was very low budget, and 
quiet and you know still a lot of the time and uh, and this for me was really exciting because I got to run around and be really physical for the first time um, and being part of such a big cast that but that is so fully rounded you know we all feel so like a family that to think of it as people being on different levels is, is so strange to us because we never were we were always on the same level when it came to anything um, so yeah it's lovely to be a part of that now and if you were in the glade, which, <laughs> which task would I do? I I don't know. I think I'd want to do something a bit hippie. I'd be like the spiritual counselor or something. <laughs> like, I don't know, creative and uh, the art workshop. Nice. Yeah. The art workshop. Yeah. That's nice. <laughs> Hi, how's it going? Hello. Hi. Um, so my question is actually for Jen. I was wondering um, how much creative input you had in the film and sort of if there was anything that the guys did that you thought, I wish you hadn't done that. Or <laughs> <laughs> Put it out on the table. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 This is going to get deep. Oh, yeah. 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 Aside from casting, yeah. Aside from casting, well, uh, that was the most obvious. No. You know, I feel like I am the luckiest author in the history of authors because Contractually, I didn't really have any power with this film because we sold the rights at the very beginning and you know, just an up-and-coming author. But Fox has treated me like an important part of this process from the very beginning. The producers called me and we had a long talk about how excited they were and they said, look, you're the creator. It can only help us if you are involved in this. And so, you know, from the very beginning, I consulted on the script and, and Wes and I spoke a lot about questions, especially when it regarded the fans and, and their reaction to certain scenes and, and things like that. I went to the set a couple of times. I went when they recorded the music, just all kinds of cool stuff. So I felt very involved and I felt like they respected my input and that I knew they were the experts in making films, but I was thrilled to, to even give any advice. And I can honestly say the, the only part I hated in the movie was when it ended. That's the honest truth. <laughs> So cute. He's also the most adorable author. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Dylan just called me adorable. Yeah, there you go. That's cool. Put that down. <laughs> Hello, over here. I was just wondering, when you when you start, oh, this is for the director, when you take over this movie and it's like another young adult uh, book being turned into a movie, there's so many right now. Were you worried that you know maybe you get lost in, in, in the shuffle or? What you do to make it special so that it doesn't get lost with all, all the other movies that are coming out? Yeah, and I was very aware of that. Um, I think ultimately the, the, the concept itself stands out from the others. I mean, the closest thing, also, obviously, one we always get compared to Hunger Games, you know. Um, the thing about Hunger Games is that it's about kids being pitted against themselves. This is not that. This is almost more of a, you know, a, uh, a, a, a shipwreck movie. This, this is a strange, you know, situation. These kids are placed into this, this environment. And have to kind of you know, create your own little world, your own society, and, and work together. You know, this is really about brotherhood and family and those kinds of those kinds of themes coming together. And then we get this really great balls to the wall action kind of adventure thing. And, and for me, I wanted to get back to sort of what I grew up on, you know, Goonies and Alien and Jurassic Park and, and these kinds of movies that I think that have balls to them. You know what I mean? I mean, it's fun to watch this stuff. And we didn't get bogged down in sort of you know, not that, not that I, I don't like that stuff, but the romance and sort of, you know, what it's like to be a teenager dealing with, you know, these kind of, we don't do that stuff. This is purely about dealing with some really hardcore, you know, uh, intense situations and how these characters react to it. So it was a lot of fun, basically. I think that's where we're going to stand out. Not only that, but I think what separates us is it's a bunch of boys. You know, right now, for the last, you know, couple of years, it's been a lot of girl centered stuff. And of course, we have one girl on our thing, but she even, even Teresa, the character herself. She's got the biggest you know, balls. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she becomes one of the boys. And hopefully, if we're, if we're fortunate enough to kind of make the continue on this saga, we'll be able to explore the, uh, the, 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 the kind of deep kind of character things that they're dealing with uh, even further and having more, more fun kind of opening up this world and saga and story and everything. I think we'll see that's even more different than all the others. So. We'll Thank you very much, and I wish a movie all the love. Thanks so much, Thank man. you. Thank you. Sorry, the last one. Oh, okay. Holy crap. Um, <laughs> this is for Jen. Um, I was wondering if you had any advice for the young actors who are coming up, and if you had any advice for them, like, 
Make it good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of pressure, pressure now. Last question. question for Dylan specifically. Um, working, you, you found that your shirt in YouTube videos, but we're pretty impressively ended it for your age. Thanks. What was it like um, working with such a young director? Has that inspired you to maybe go into that side of um, producing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Something that I always think about when... Uh, and I'm going to say this, this is going to sound funny because it's not the situation at all. When choosing a director to work with, I mean, it's not like I have my choice. But, I mean, w uh, you know, I always, ideally, it'd be somebody I can learn from and somebody who can be a hero of mine and somebody who I am just in awe of in the way they go about uh, their filmmaking process. And Wes is absolutely that guy. Uh, and he's only, like, ten years older than me. Like, when I was making those YouTube videos, he was, like, my age now. That's just insane to me. And it's his first movie. And uh, the impression that I got from him immediately, out of the gate, was just how hardworking he was, what a genius he was, and also what a gift for storytelling he does have, and and for just uh, filmmaking in general. He's really got, you know, we all we have the same taste in films, you know, and uh, and I just, you know, I, I ideally again, it'd just be a perfect situation for me to be on set, uh, not only learning through experience and acting, but learning from a guy like him. And I think he's going to be a superstar, uh, to be honest. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass on over there too because I mean. It's, it's really a team effort. So my approach is the collaboration is important, you know? So uh, the movie really rests on these actors' shoulders. That's what really drives the movie. And so, I mean, I learned so much from these guys, just the amount of commitment they gave to the stuff, and sort of, you know, uh, that, that kind of, that, that sort of collaborative thing as we kind of work through these scenes and, and sort of find the, the heart of these things and make something that, 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 that means something. Just spectacle alone is not, is not enough without sort of, you know, characters that you care about and a real sense of heart. So I, I, would, I would say it's, we share it equally, I think. <laughs> See? See? <laughs> There's going to be hugs after this. There's so many hugs. Come here. Oh, Damn hugs. Well, thank you, Rian. Yeah, well, thank you so much. It was an awesome Thanks, question. Guys. Thanks, guys. Sorry for the story. Say again. Yeah.